I'm going to show you how I tile a, a custom shower curb here. I got a Schluter Curdy system. Uh, I ran the waterproofing out onto the wall either side, left and right, and down onto the floor. Try to waterproof this thing a little better on the outside of the shower. Um, I got luxury vinyl plank flooring going in the bathroom here. Um, so I'm going to use a piece of this uh, for a shim, basically, and I'm going to tile down to it. I'm going to start by cutting the pieces on the top threshold, and then I got bullnose on the inside, outside of the curb to match the shower. So after you cut your pieces, um, take your uh, tile stone and uh, knock that sharp edge off, the one that you cut. Uh, just kind of file that off so it's not sharp. Um, and do that on all your pieces that you're putting on the curb. And then I uh, thin set on the curb itself, and then I'm going to back butter the tile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I get it um, back buttered like that, I'm going to take a little bit of extra mud and uh, just pile it up loosely uh, on the front edge there. Just put a little bit more mud on that front edge. Got more than enough mud uh, is better than not enough mud. So you get your pieces in there and don't squish them down yet. Uh, just kind of roughly get them where they go and then... Uh, take your level, straight edge, whatever, uh, or both, preferably. You want to make sure they're perfectly level, and from end to end of each piece, you can make sure there's no gaps under there, under your straight edge, from left to right. And then do that on the outside and the inside of the curb, and, and get them uh, super nice. And then I take my torpedo level, and uh, just kind of crack the bubble there a little bit. Give me about eighth to maybe three, three sixteenths, maybe at the most. Uh, tip towards the shower. So any water that gets on the threshold will run back into the shower. Uh, you want to do that on all the corners of all your tiles. And then after you do that, go back and double check it with your straight edge and make sure all the corners of your tiles are uh, still where they need to be and it's nice and level. You might have to mess with this a little bit. Uh, if you have more than a couple of tiles, but uh, it's well worth the effort uh, in the long run. So there again, double, triple check it inside, outside, and make sure it's sloped a little bit in towards the shower. So then what I'm going to do is take my bull nose on the inside, outside of the curb, and I'm going to hold it down just a fuzz off of the top edge. And then I got another little piece going in there. So uh, after I got those all stuck and got the whole shower grouted uh, and it's set up overnight uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that the bottom edge is nice and clean before I uh, run the flooring under it i show you here um, down at the bottom you can see uh, you know this piece is slope from the outside to the inside and then the bull nose is down just a hair and I made sure that the the grout um, is nice and uh, rounded over more or less uh, so the water will run off and it won't get caught in there anywhere it won't puddle and those joints on the top of the threshold I tried to make sure those were as full as possible uh, they're concave just a little bit not very much uh, and then make sure after you, when you're grouting and stuff uh, that you keep that crack nice and clean if you're going to run your flooring up under it, which is what I'm doing. So uh, after I got my floor in, uh, before I put my baseboard in, I'm going to load up this crack here uh, with some of this caulking. And then I'm going to caulk this uh, crack along the bottom. I got some color matched caulk that's uh, factory matched to the grout color. Um, it's silicone. It's made by custom here. It's, it's color matched to pretty much any grout color you, you can get. Um, most of them, I would say you might want to double check that, but it's silicone. Uh, some of them have sand in them to match the grout texture, but this is just silicone. Uh, I got some damp paper towels ready to go. Cause I'm going to wipe this with my finger. I'm going to try to do this with one hand so I can show you, but uh, I just do a little bit at a time, about a foot at a time here, um, and make sure you squirt it up under there. Don't just try to cover the edge. You want to squirt it way back up under there, 
uh, but you don't want too much because um, this stuff can be pretty mess messy. It is silicone. So, and I'll take my finger and wipe it on that damp towel, and then I'll go probably an inch or two at a time and just kind of wipe it on that towel, and that keeps your finger moist. Uh, and just keep doing it that way. You don't want to run ran your uh, finger across there because uh, the caulking will pile up on you and it'll make a big mess. So uh, you can see I got the cracks on either side filled with that caulking. Uh, I got the tile part cleaned off for the most part. And then I'll take my tile or my uh, baseboard chunks uh, that I already cut and made for there. And I'll get a couple nails in those, squish those in there. Uh, get a couple nails in them and then get my little piece of shoe molding on there too and then uh, i'm going to caulk between the baseboard and the tile there on both sides um same with the other the other end there so uh you can see the uh silicone uh color match there it's still kind of wet um and then i i took the uh my painter's caulk and caulked between the tile on the baseboard I have to touch up the paint a little bit around there and you know fill the nail holes and whatever but uh, that way the floor can move a little bit and it's sealed up real good um, because these vinyl plank floors have to uh, you know expand and contract so uh, if you have to go up to the tile and do that you can also do it that way too but uh, yeah if you got a project like this I, uh, I hope it helps